Have you ever wondered about the history of Novell, the software company that revolutionized enterprise networks? In the dawn of the 80s, a new player entered the tech industry. Novell Data Systems, established in 1980, initially set its sights on hardware manufacturing. However, the company's destiny was not to be tied with hardware for long. The year 1983 marked a significant turning point for Novell. A new captain took the helm, Ray Norda, who became the company's president and CEO. Norda's vision for Novell was far from ordinary. He saw a future beyond hardware. He believed in the potential of networking software, a relatively unexplored territory at the time. Under Norda's guidance, Novell shifted its focus from hardware to software, specifically networking software. This was a bold move considering the dominance of hardware in the tech industry, yet Norda was convinced that the future of technology lay in connecting computers and facilitating data exchange. This decision to transition from hardware to software set Novell on a new trajectory. With a keen focus on networking software, Novell introduced the world to Novell Netware, an operating system that allowed personal computers to share peripherals on a local area network. This marked the beginning of a new era for Novel and the tech industry as a whole. Norda's vision and leadership set the stage for Novel's transformation from a hardware manufacturer to a software pioneer. His belief in the power of networking software was not only prophetic, but also instrumental in shaping the future of the tech industry. Under Norda's leadership, Novell began its journey to become a major player in the software industry. This marked the genesis of Novel, a company that would go on to leave an indelible mark in the world of technology. Little did anyone know at the time, the best was yet to come. The 1980s marked the rise of Novel's main product, the network operating system known as Novell Netware. As the personal computer industry was booming, businesses were looking for ways to connect their computers. Novel saw this as a golden opportunity and introduced Netware, an operating system that allowed personal computers to share peripherals on a local area network, or LAN. This was a game changer for the industry, and soon, Novell emerged as a leading firm in the PC networking market. Netware was not just an operating system, it was a revolution. It offered a range of networking services including file and user management, data security and resource management. It was popular among companies transitioning from mainframe systems to PC networks due to its low hardware requirements and memory protection. This made Netware a powerful network operating system and it quickly became widely used for PC networks. In 1989, Novell released Netware 386, a software that could serve IBM, Unix, and Apple computers simultaneously. This gave Novell a competitive edge and further solidified its position in the market. At its peak, Netware had a 63% market share and over half a million networks installed worldwide. This was a testament to the power of novel software and its ability to meet the needs of a rapidly evolving industry. Netware's success wasn't just limited to the United States. The network operating system reached across borders, establishing Novel as a global software leader. It was a dominant force in corporate networks, introducing networking to a wider audience and revolutionizing the way people used computers. However, the 1990s brought new challenges. Netware faced competition from Microsoft's Windows NT and Linux. But despite these challenges, Netware continued to evolve, adding features such as fault tolerance and RAID support, proving that Novell was a force to be reckoned with. Netware's success catapulted Novell to the forefront of the enterprise networking industry. But like all good things, Netware's reign had to come to an end. As the new millennium approached, Novell faced increasing competition and had to make some tough decisions. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's appreciate the rise of novel netware and its impact on the world of enterprise networking. In the face of growing competition from Microsoft, Novell made several strategic decisions. Novell, a pioneer in corporate networking, found itself in direct competition with the software giant Microsoft. In an attempt to compete on multiple fronts, Novell made a series of bold acquisitions including WordPerfect and Quattro Pro. WordPerfect, a word processing software and Quattro Pro, a spreadsheet program, were seen as direct competitors to Microsoft's Word and Excel. Novell's strategy was to create a comprehensive suite of applications that could match Microsoft's Office suite. However, this move was fraught with challenges. Integration of these new acquisitions proved to be a complex task, and the competition from Microsoft's Windows NT was intense. Novell's attempts to outperform Microsoft were not successful. The acquisitions drained Novell's resources, 
and the company struggled to maintain its previous dominance in the networking software market. The new additions to Novel's product line failed to gain traction, and the company was unable to compete effectively against Microsoft's growing influence. These unsuccessful attempts to outpace Microsoft marked the beginning of a challenging period for Novel. Despite its pioneering role in the networking industry and its significant contributions to corporate networking, Novel found itself unable to keep up with the rapid pace of change in the software industry. This period marked a turning point for Novel, signaling the start of a long decline for the company and paving the way for its eventual shift in focus towards open source software. As the new millennium dawned, Novell found itself in a period of decline. The software powerhouse that had once held a 63% market share with its NetWare operating system was now facing a challenging future. The rise of Microsoft's Windows NT had eroded Novell's dominance and its attempts to compete on multiple fronts had drained valuable resources. In a bid to regain its footing, Novell made a pivotal decision to shift its focus. It acquired Suze Linux, a move that marked the company's commitment to open source software. This was a significant departure from Novell's proprietary software roots, and it reflected the changing dynamics of the technology industry at the time. However, the shift in focus was not without its challenges. For one, the open source community was skeptical of Novell's intentions, given its history of proprietary software development. Additionally, Novell faced stiff competition from other Linux distributors, and it struggled to differentiate its offerings in the market. Novell also grappled with internal challenges. The company underwent several management changes, and there were reports of disagreements over the strategic direction of the company. These internal issues, coupled with the external challenges, created a tumultuous environment for Novell. The company's efforts to refocus and reinvent itself were commendable, but they were not enough to restore Novell to its former glory. Its market share continued to decline, and it struggled to achieve profitability. Despite its best efforts, Novell was unable to regain its former dominance in the industry. In the 2010s, Novell underwent a series of acquisitions that would shape its current status. The first major change came in 2011 when Novell was acquired by the Attachmate Group. This marked a significant shift in the company's trajectory and signaled the end of an era. But Novell's journey didn't stop there. Just three years later, in 2014, Novell was acquired once again. This time, it was Microfocus International, a British multinational software and information technology company that saw the value in Novell's portfolio. This acquisition further diversified Microfocus's product offerings, integrating Novell's strengths in endpoint management, communication, collaboration tools, and secure file sharing into their own suite of services. But the carousel of acquisitions didn't stop spinning for Novell. In 2023, OpenText, a Canadian company specializing in enterprise information management acquired Novel. This move was a game changer. It brought Novel's products and technologies into various open text divisions, further expanding and enhancing their capabilities. These acquisitions were not just about changing ownership. They were strategic moves that allowed the strengths of Novell to be harnessed and integrated into larger entities. Each acquisition represented an opportunity for Novell's technologies to be applied in new contexts contributing to the development of more comprehensive and powerful software solutions. Throughout these changes, Novell's pioneering spirit remained intact. The company that once led the way in networking software continues to influence the industry, albeit under different names and within different structures. Novell's products, now part of OpenText's collaboration, OpenText cybersecurity, and file and networking services portfolios, continue to offer productivity and endpoint management communication and collaboration tools, intranet building, and secure file, print, network, and storage management. Today, Novel's legacy lives on within the various divisions of OpenText. The company may have changed hands and names, but the impact of its innovative technologies continues to be felt across the software industry. Novell's journey, though filled with highs and lows, left an indelible mark on the software industry. Its impact can be traced back to the early days of corporate networking, a concept that was largely pioneered by Novell. Novell's primary contribution to the software industry came in the form of the network operating system, Novell Netware. This software, dominant throughout the 80s and 90s, acted as the backbone for over half a million networks worldwide. By implementing a star topology with twisted pair cabling, 
Netware revolutionized local area networks, or LANs. It allowed multiple computers to share resources efficiently, fostering a new era of interconnectedness within the corporate world. But Novell's impact didn't stop there. The company also played a crucial role in the development of enterprise networks. Recognizing the need for integrating LANs and wide area networks, or WANs, Novell developed Netware Open Systems. This comprehensive platform for network computing brought increased functionality and performance to networks, ushering in what they termed enterprise computing. Novell's influence extended beyond its own products. The company's aggressive competition with Microsoft in the 90s shaped the strategies and decisions of one of the biggest players in the software industry. Though Novell's attempts to compete directly with Microsoft were ultimately unsuccessful, they underscored the importance of adaptability and innovation in the face of industry competition. Even in its decline, Novell continued to shape the industry. Its shift towards Linux in the early 2000s signaled a broader industry trend towards open source software. Today, many of Novell's products and technologies are integrated within various divisions of OpenText, continuing to contribute to the industry's growth. From its rise to its challenges, Novell's story is a testament to the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the software industry. The company's legacy serves as a reminder of the transformative power of innovation and the enduring impact of pioneering technology. As we look back at the history of Novell, we see a legacy of innovation and resilience this American software and services company, founded in 1980, set the stage for corporate networking with its flagship product, Novell Netware. In the 1980s and 1990s, Netware became the dominant network operating system, securing a market share of 63% at its peak and establishing Novell as a major player in the software industry. However, the road wasn't always smooth. Novel faced significant challenges, not the least of which was competition from a rising giant, Microsoft. Despite its attempts to compete by acquiring other companies like WordPerfect and Quattro Pro, Novell found itself in a period of decline. But even in the face of adversity, Novell proved its resilience. It shifted its focus, acquiring Suze Linux in an attempt to reposition itself in the market. While Novell may not have regained its past dominance, its impact on the software industry is undeniable. Its products and technologies are now integrated within various divisions of OpenText, and its influence can be seen in the development of networking services, data security, and resource management. Novell's journey teaches us valuable lessons. It highlights the importance of adaptability in the ever-changing world of technology. It shows us that while competition is inevitable, innovation and resilience can keep a company afloat. It reminds us that success is not just about dominance, but also about the legacy we leave behind, the impact we make on our industry and the world. Novell's story serves as a reminder that in the world of technology, change is the only constant.